doctor's notes excusing him from serving in the war there. At least he is going there this week, ostensibly in the service of our nation, but perhaps not. We might never truly learn about what Trump and Kim Jong-un discussed. I in advance of the visit by Trump, and what clearly must be a coincidence, the plane of Sergei Viktorovich Lavrov, foreign minister of Russia, reportedly has landed in Vietnam ahead of Trump's arrival. Trump has been touting that if North Korea will give up nuclear weapons, it will be dominant on the world economic stage, tweeting meeting for breakfast with our nation's governors, then off to Vietnam for a very important summit with Kim Jong-un. With complete denuclearization North Korea will rapidly become an economic powerhouse. Without it, just more of the same. Chairman Kim will make a wise decision. This is doubtful on many levels, including unlike South Korea or Japan, or any other country producing electronics, and that is an economic powerhouse, North Korea has nothing in terms of infrastructure or technology other than its nuclear capabilities. Trump also is talking about his bromance with Kim, noting that we fell in love. While being on good relationship terms with North Korea is important, we fear that Trump has fallen for good old-fashioned propaganda from a leader who knows how to play the game.